She has a round face. That's all fine. The last thing I was putting down was this one. You know, she's getting the hair out from the very end part of her. eyebrows. She's not actually getting it the way the hair from above the pupil right here. She has it like this. Normally. So she takes out all the end part here to give her a more open eye. But actually She has the hair all flat until here and then she takes it off. Oh, 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 oh. First kind of mistake I found in this styling. And then another detail. Here they were <laughs> altering her leg. <coughs> no, no. It's her nails. Too long. I don't like nails to be as long like this. She has it somewhere in between. I like them to be real short. Here it says that her dress is polka dots, but actually the polka dots, they are big dots. So even what they tell us about this dress feels wrong. So I painted these big dots because close to the face which is the most important feature of us human beings we communicate mainly with our eyes right so we need to look into people's faces to see whether they are happy or angry or what it is they are actually saying because of that it's common usage to have everything Getting closer to the face, be more delicate. So the dots were about the same size on her dress, on the upper and on the lower. So I painted those big dots to mean how this looks better. And then the dress, it used to be a dress, you know, going like this. That one feels like rags. The dress should have a clear line and also not sweep the floor, not to be too long. It should be cut somewhere around here. It can still be covering her ankles, but not the floor, please. There can be some kind of a you know, fancy, you know, cutting into the dress. Yes, that can be, but it has to have, you know, somehow a, a clear form to not make it look like a curtain flying about. Also, here, the dress, it doesn't look elegant. You know, they say elegant at night. It's not elegant when you're kind of having the, a too long dress covering your whole hand. And then to me, this is the size her earrings should have when she has rings like this. Her ring is real big, but her actual earring is real small. You know, I said the closer you get to the face, the more delicate the style has to become. But actually, the more precious, valuable the things have to become, or lighter as well. So when you have these big earring rings, rather than earrings, she's valuing her hands. Higher, actually, than her face, you know. The framing of her face would be her earrings, sort of. And 
she's not doing that. She has real delicate earrings. But she does it cool. Her earrings are movable. So when she talks and moves, her earrings are moving as well. That's something real nice. Kind of makes people attractive. It's more attractive than to have a pearl earring on a stick that doesn't move. And then the last thing, her hair. To me her hair is messy. Even though her hair is just falling on her shoulders. It's clean. It's dyed, bleached hair. Okay, I see that. But you know, when she wants to be elegant for the night, wearing a dress and heels, the hair should be up or somehow gathered around her face as a frame and not flying about like a curtain again. The word curtain. When you hear that a lot, then it's no good because we humans aren't windows that should be any close to curtains. We are human beings. When we go best dressed, even elegant as it says here, we gotta kind of do accordingly. So yeah, and I would actually seal the toes, not showing them. It's not so elegant like when you're eating to see people's toes. So the way I look at it is the closer the things you wear are towards your own body, the skin you got, that would be the first layer. It has to be the lightest, what you wear inside and not the outer shell should be the lightest in color. That's why I call it this one. It's actually black and white and what I did is I just did a few. Now this outer thing is darker and what she's wearing inside is lighter. To me now it looks perfect. It looks perfect on this side. Not so much on this side. Right? I mean otherwise you could say oh wow why is she wearing sweatpants? Why is she showing her navel? Why is she that's all fine with me. Why is this long thing touching some bag she's wearing? Why is that leather bag? 